hi and welcome back today we are going to be sharing with you our january favorites yeah because we have favorite things all the time yeah and they're actually constantly changing that's true my first favorite is this kind sweet and savory roasted jalapeno almond bar and these were marketed more as like a plant protein bar there's 10 grams of protein in each bar um, but i use this as kind of my sneaky snack during the day. Sneaky snack. Sneaky snack, because it is seven points on Weight Watchers and we're trying to do good on that. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like it's filling and it also doesn't feel like I'm putting absolute garbage in my mouth. There's very little sugar, six grams of sugar for one whole bar, which is not bad at all. Um, so the points, I guess, are coming mostly from the almonds. Mm -hmm. um, Those good fats. Yeah, and there is pea protein in here, um, which, <laughs> Pea protein? I don't, I don't know what the big to do is about that. But these taste really great. The jalapeno part sounds really intimidating, but they're not spicy at all. I just made Caitlin try a bite. If you've ever had any of the blue diamond like smokehouse almonds, there's a jalapeno one. It tastes exactly like that. Yep. It's really good. Uh, where did you get them? I've been buying these on Amazon just because we're buying entire boxes, and I think it's a lot more affordable per bar to do it that way. There you go. Amazon all the time. Amazon. The first thing that I have is going to be really hard to show you, but it is the Invisibobble. Can you see it? And these are those like old school key holders. Yep. Um, and you use them for a ponytail. And I don't remember why I ended up buying these because they seemed kind of gimmicky to me. Um, but I randomly put them in my Amazon cart and ordered them. And I'm not even kidding. I was so shocked at how well and how mm -hmm. secure these hold. Yeah. And they really don't leave, oh, have I like never done a ponytail before? <laughs> but they seriously are so secure. Yeah. And I, they, but they're not, they don't pull the same way. Mm -hmm. I thought everyone was so full of shit I when I talked about these, but I, oh God. Rat tail. I, I have been, I've really, really been loving them. Mm -hmm. The only thing is I don't wear the, I can't really wear them on my wrist the way that I do with a regular hair tie because they look stupid. So I feel like I have to have one in the bottom of my purse and in the drawer of my desk and sort of just around, which is harder for me than just having a one on my... But then they come... I would say you sort of have to loop them out. Um, but yeah, no... Uh, what's that called? Line. No, no line, no crease from a hair tie, and I've worn them for hours before. Yeah. I have them, and I've never tried them. I really like them. I think our friend... You know... Kate. I think our friend Kate has used them before. And she's got curly hair, so I bet they work really good. Yeah. And so her. I did notice, I took them out of my hair the first time I used them. I thought, oh my God, it's so stretched out already. This is going to last me three times. But then I got in the shower and by the time I got out and sort of had finished doing everything, so I don't know, 45 minutes, an hour, it had shrunk back mm -hmm. to the size that it was. So really impressed by these. I think they were like six bucks for three. Mm -hmm. So a little bit expensive, but they're easier to keep track of, and I think because I can't wear it on my wrist all the time, I sort of put them in a specific right. place, which is nice. Cool. So I would suggest, oh, another Amazon purchase. God, typical. Next, I have this beautiful rose gold coppery corksicle bottle, which I had my eye on for a very long time, and then my old boss bought one for me for Christmas. Um, and this holds an entire bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. I have tested that theory. Mm -hmm. There's wine in there now from last night. Oh shit, we should just pour that into glasses. We should. Um, but this keeps your wine cold, evidently. I don't know, I really drink my Chill. wine at room temperature. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the best part about this is that it has a rubber bottom. So when you set it down on something, it doesn't skid across like a swell bottle would. Mm -hmm. It stays. Um, and I just think it's really beautiful to look at. And it kind of looks like a cocktail shaker. But I really do love this. I don't think it's dishwasher safe. No, there's no way. But um, yeah, I, I just thought like such a great gift idea, something I probably wouldn't buy for myself because I already have a swell bottle, but I'm so grateful that I do have it now. So you have a Julie? swell bottle? Yeah. Do you have one? Yeah. Oh. I thought you had more than one. What do you think I am? At one point I had three. Well, you lose them. Not I me. left one on an airplane. <laughs> I was sent this next product as a sample from Influencer, and it is the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. It came with this really cool eye mask, which in theory you could put in the freezer and put on, but I just like to wear around the house like this. Totally. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take it off because I can't, it's, it swooshes my eyes. So 
honestly, the gel eye mask is adorable. Just adorable. So and I like that you could, in theory, use it if... I just can't ever see myself using a puffy eye. Like a, a, fro a cold eye mask on my eyes. Me either. I'll never remember to do it. Although yeah. it'd be great for after I cry at therapy. <laughs> Your therapy mask. My therapy mask. But the Banana Bright Eye Cream, I was very worried that it was going to smell like banana. Yeah. I didn't actually look up any reviews before I got it. I sort of wanted to have a totally... Like first reaction, sure. um, not biased at all. And it does not smell like banana at all. It smells more like orange. You've crushed it. Oranges. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. it smells like a cream sickle. Mm hmm. Yeah, which is nice. It's definitely, you want to stick your finger in there? Yeah. It's definitely a very lightweight formula. It absorbs really quickly. I've been using it on my under eyes in the morning because the reason they called it the Banana Bright Eye Cream is mm -hmm. because they sort of modeled it after banana powder, which is supposed to use to help set makeup, but then also cancel out dark circles. Mm -hmm. um, so I won't say that I've noticed a huge difference in it canceling out my dark circles, but I do think having that added moisture under there has made it so that my concealer goes on more evenly, mm -hmm. even more so than when I was putting on a priming moisturizer because having the eye cream makes it so I really get up in there and then right. on my lid. Um, I like it. It is expensive, so I don't know if I would purchase it, but I've been really loving it mm -hmm. in the last month or so since I've had it. That's great. Yeah. But so, and like I said, this is not an ad, but it is an honest review for Influencer mm -hmm. because I was sent this for free. Yeah. I love Influencer. Yeah. I was really excited. It was my first box. Really? My first box box. Your first box box. I know. I hope I get picked for the next one. You know that we love to go to Marshalls. Oh God. Do you know? We went this morning. <laughs> we have a bag sitting over right up there and we're going to talk about everything we bought. The last time we went together, I found this Spa of the World Tie Lime Firming Oil by The Body Shop, and it was $5.99. And when I got home, I looked it up, and it is a new product for them. Oh, it is? And I think it's in the $20 to $25 range. So I thought, that's a steal. Yeah. I have never looked forward to taking a shower more in my life. The day that I get to use this... Oh, oh right on your nose. Oh. It's just, it's the most satisfying feeling I've ever had. It is mm -hmm. moisturizing oil, but it does not leave you greasy at all. And even the next day, I can still feel it. I can still feel that it's it's working. And the scent changes after a little while. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, ju I just, oh my God, I just want to touch myself all the time. It's, <laughs> I, I do. What? It's lime, but it's not, and it goes away. It's like it's, beachy it's lime. It's a different, um... It's almost like a more, it's like a savory lime, mm -hmm. not a sweet lime. It's amazing. I don't, it says that it's a firming oil. Kind of grassy. Kind of like lime grass, lime grass. Lemon, Lemon grass. grass is what I meant. Kind of like. It says that this is praised by Thai women for its stimulating and uplifting scent. Rich in antioxidants, it's renowned to firm and tone the skin. So I put this every single place on my body. It says really focus it on your abs, hips, and buttocks and thighs. All I know is this is magic, and I want to buy seven more bottles of it. I love it that much. Mm -hmm. I'm not using moisturizer anymore. I'm just using this. Yeah, that's And nice. I can put it on damp skin, and it just, it feels dreamy. It feels luxurious. It feels like I'm treating myself, um, and I'm happy that I'm using it, because you never really know when you buy something at Marshall's if it's going to be absolute piss or... <laughs> So is it one of those things? Well, no, we do because we Google it. Mm -hmm. Bef we spend every time that we're at Marshalls, yeah. we spend 75% of the time actually shopping and then the other 25% of the time camped out somewhere in the store, <laughs> like hiding and then pulling out our hoarded products and yeah. Googling to see if the stuff that we have is worth it. It's amazing. If it makes me want to shower, then it's got to be good. There's not a lot that does that for us. No, I don't like to shower. I hate showering. Just takes so long. I mean, I feel really great after I shower. That's true, yeah. All winter long, I've been drinking a ton of tea. I have a couple old sort of standby favorites that I, obviously Earl Grey is one. Mm -hmm. um, Blue Lady. The Tea Pigs. Licorice, licorice Peppermint. Licorice Peppermint. Obviously is a favorite. And um, But this brand is called Puka, P-U-K-K-A. You can get it at Safeway, any major grocery store. Mm -hmm. um, and they made my old favorite you like us brand liquor licorice and peppermint one but they got rid of it they discontinued it hmm. so every time but i still am sort of always checking to make sure that it's not there right. and so i've recently realized that they've come out with more flavors and this one is three ginger 
uh, warming swirl of organic ginger, galangal, galangal, and golden turmeric. And it's really nice. I love their packaging. I have probably at least six different mm -hmm. flavors of this tea, and I love them all. Um, What's the packaging look like? Oh. I mean, it's yeah, like, like a tea sachet. Yeah, and it's and it's a. Uh, it's oh. that really nice mesh kind. It's not the papery It bag. smells very gingery. It is gingery, but they have like a little thing on the inside. Wow, it's an experience. This box of tea directly connects you to some positive change in the world. I didn't know this. All our teas are organic, fair for life, and often fair wild with 1% going directly to environmental projects. Every cup you bring sends a rainbow of positive ripples through the incredible world. They're thanking me for working my magic. Oh, it's like unicorn tea. Because I drink a, I drink a tea. I started a new job in January and I knew that I would be getting a laptop with my new job and I wanted to kind of look professional, transporting it back and forth, not just a backpack, which uh -huh. is what I was doing at Under Armour. So I treated myself to a designer handbag, which I don't, I don't do that. That's not Danielle. Designer. That's not Danielle. Handbag. This is the Tory Burch Parker tote, and it's Saffiano leather. Yes. And the color is called cardamom, and I found it at Nordstrom Rack on a mega sale. Mm -hmm. It's like a $300 bag, but I paid $159, and I honestly think that's not that bad. No, no. For, for a leather tote bag that can hold a 13-inch MacBook Pro. Yeah. For a bag that size, yeah, it's really good. Um, I love the color because I can kind of wear it all year round. It's easily wipeable. Um, it has this magnetic pocket here where I tend to put my phone and my keys. Um, and then inside it does have various smaller pockets on the sides. And then it's just like great big open. And it's navy, navy blue in there. Isn't navy it? blue on the inside. Which is nice. I like that. Yeah. Um, and it holds everything nicely. Um, it does have a zip closure, which I, I tend to never use, but it's nice that it's an option. Um, and I was feeling really guilty when I purchased it. I left the tags on for a few weeks, mm -hmm. but I snipped them and I'm loving it. But and but look how sturdy and flat bottomed it is. It totally sits. It's not gonna topple mm -hmm. over. I do wish it had feet on the bottom, but, uh -huh. but that's okay. Oh, look at that. I never noticed that detail, how they sort of interweave it, kind yep. of overlap it. Huh. Um, I don't know. I think it's I think it's classic without looking like in your face. This is a designer handbag. Yeah. I think it's perfect otherwise, but the only thing that I would improve on it is the strap drop. Yes. So I it's have only a, eight and a half inches. Right. I have a very weird thing about I don't want to have to use my other hand to get the bag all the way up. I want to be able to easily swing it and it clear my elbow. And I can. I can do that. Oh, see I think I need nine. Yeah. I need nine inches. But when I have a coat on, oh. game over. I have to carry it like like this. You know, yeah, which is fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's it's great. It makes me feel really professional. Mm, professional when I use it. Yeah, and I use it every day because I take my laptop to and from the house. Mm. I'm jealous. It has been so cold here this winter, and because it's been so cold, I have just found myself dry all over and top down, <laughs> top down, like just tip. <laughs> Toast, to, toast to tip? Tits to toes. Tits to toes, but then face too. But so my big problem was actually my hands. I had never had um, so much sort of like cracking mm. on my hands and really, really dry cuticles. It was actually painful. Yeah. Um, so I really wanted to get a super nice hand cream that actually worked. So finally I was sick of the, the dryness and did a little bit of internet research and found that a lot of people really liked the Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Salve all day care for severely dry active hands. Oh. So I think this is actually one of their sort of original, mm -hmm. no, okay, can't see it, perfect. I think this is actually one of their original products of their product line, the packaging is super simple. It's five ounces, oh I should look up how much it was. That's a lot of hand cream. Yeah, but I use it for some reason, I've had is hand creams, enough? yeah that's plenty. I've had a lot of hand creams and I keep them in my nightstand, but this is the only one that I've consistently been using every single night. It smells just like Noxzema. Right, but and so it doesn't really smell. I love that smell. No, I love that smell. But it's not. It's a medicinal smell. Yeah, it's not really a scent necessarily. And once you put it on, you don't really smell it anymore. Like Vicks Vapor Rub. A little bit, on not your heavy. Chest. Oh, it's good, and it goes away really quickly. It goes away really quickly, and I have noticed that ever since I started using it, I no longer. I still 
probably apply hand cream once when I'm at work and then of course every night with this mm -hmm. but I never get to the point where I'm like oh my god I'm so dry I need hand cream right now yeah no that's a good sign that's all you need out of a hand cream and I've been using it also on my um my feet because mm -hmm. I've, I've been a little drier on my heels and stuff I really think it has been great so when I asked if anyone had tried it I think someone did respond and said that they loved it and it was the ultimate or maybe they were using it it was Courtney that's what it was someone else posted about it on their insta story I think mm -hmm. and I had already been shopping for it and then they said it was the ultimate so thank ultimate you strength. I appreciate it that was all I needed to go ahead and add this to my cart I want to see how much it is I'm just gonna run it through the ends of my hair I do that the other one that I was looking at was L'Occitane. It was on sale, but it was in weird scents. Uh, so it was a little bit cheaper, but this one was $23 for five ounces, and I decided to get this one. Yeah. I, I think it ended up being a better deal somehow. I can't remember, but... I have L'Occitane hand and foot cream, and it's okay. Really? Because that was the other one when I was going through, like, top hand creams. It was that one, and then this one. I'm a really big long-distance runner, and so I have to have... A really great pair of running shoes. You should have warned me so I could have at least tried to keep a straight face. <laughs> totally kidding. Oh my god, does it all look like I run? <laughs> I run ultra marathons. <laughs> um, I use these shoes not for running, but I do other things in them. Like clean the house and walking and riding my bike. Go to Marshalls. Riding your bike? Riding the bike at the gym. Oh, I was like, girl, I have a bike. I do too, I've never ridden it. Okay. Okay, anyway, but for real, these are the Under Armour Slingshot Tonal Shoes. And I purchased them because I was leaving the company <laughs> and I needed to stock up on stuff. And these were just kind of an impulse purchase because they were all black. And if you know anything about Under Armour, their shit's neon from head to toe and I can't get on board with that. Mm -hmm. I want a whole solid color. Um, and so the fact that these were entirely black, including the logo, I knew it could be a match made in heaven and it is they are the most <laughs> they're the most comfortable tennis shoes that i've ever worn and i got them true to size i got them in an eight and a half because i don't like to wear socks with them the best part is that they have a burrito tongue which means this entire top part of the shoe is one is one there's no separate tongue to kind of get all janky and slide off to either side of your foot uh -huh. um they're just very comfortable, very breathable, very lightweight. They look really small. They make my foot they look, look really tiny. small. But they're also, uh, I've never seen a shoe with this type of fabric. They almost kind of remind me of like water shoes. Sort of. But not, uh, but it's not like in this, a weird way. No, no, no. Because it doesn't have that like neoprene part. It is fabric. But it's that like woven, I don't know if you can tell how much you can stretch. Like there's just nothing that's going to be mm -hmm. tight about them. So it says that it's woven in Dyneema, the world's strongest fiber, for the ultimate in durable flexibility, which I would say that's totally true. Yeah. They're amazing, and I, so cool. I'm not one to be like, oh, Under Armour makes the best shoes ever. I think other brands that have been a lot around longer mm -hmm. make really great shoes, but these are so comfortable, and I have a lot of knee pain, so if I can find a tennis shoe to wear all day and not have knee pain, that's a win. And, like, that's a sick looking shoe. A good shoe. I like all. I like all black. Black, black sole. Black sole. <laughs> they're great, and they're on sale right now for eighty nine ninety nine. So how much are they originally? One twenty. Oh, that's a pretty good sale. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next thing I have. Hey. Oh my God! What are you doing here? The, is this really bomb jacket that I got? Yeah. I, I got it last year. It was actually a whole. Oh God. Fucking hot mess that that ended up. It ended up with me writing an actual. Letter. letter like typed up and signed and put a, I had to go ahead and get a stamp she to, sent it certified mail to write this letter because I was so angry at the company but it is an Eddie Bauer down jacket it is longer it goes to my mid thigh which is really nice and then it's super tapered in the waist and it's got sort of this like diamond weave quilting which I think if I'm gonna wear like a big puffy jacket this is probably one of the more flattering ones um and it comes with a belt. I tossed that immediately because I don't have time for that. No. But it has been my best purchase of probably the last five years because I was wearing that stupid, like, Ugh. fashionable coat. I know. For so long. And I just was like, whatever, I'm just fucking cold all the time. And then I got this and I thought, why was I ever cold? 
No, you don't need to be cold. It's so warm and cozy. I love, I love wearing it. I don't know if they sell this exact one, but I will link a similar one down yeah. below because I know that they still have some. I bet you the outlet do. has it for sure. But um, the hood is detachable, and actually the fur is detachable mm -hmm. from the hood because I had never worn a fur hood, and I kind of thought like, not really a fur hood person. I love it. It looks so cute on you. You right. look like you just got back from the Iditarod. Right? Like, how, although I will say, like, I never know what to do with... I tuck it. I think, I know, I think I have to put it back. I do that. Because the part that I've actually only used once, and that's when I realized it was actually really warm, was when I finally... God, hair just... No, no, no. What are you doing? Okay. You got some hair in there. Yep. This, when you have this bit, like, screw a scarf. Let's get some snow. Right? Like, I am ready. <laughs> I will also say, Caitlin raves about this coat so often that yeah. I bought an Eddie Bauer winter coat that is yeah. pretty similar. And that's the thing. Even when after all the shit that went happened with the company when I was ordering it, it was still such a nice coat. I kept it anyway. Yeah. And I, I was borderline about to be like, no money for you, Eddie Bauer, because you suck. But then the coat was so great. And then they sent me a gift certificate. <laughs> and yeah, Which I haven't even used I haven't used it. Oh, and the other thing, you can't tell, but it has the bottom zipper. Which I don't understand that. No, it's great because so when I get on the bus oh. and I sit down. Oh, it, that's what it's for. I unzip it just a little bit so that I don't yeah. have that like strain on the zipper from my big ass hips. <laughs> from them chow roar hips. Right? Exactly. <laughs> from my tender ties. Tender ties. <laughs> Tender or tunder? Tunder. Tunder ties. But yeah, so when my, so I don't end up like wasting this zipper by stretching it out with my fat ass, I can just use it and. Those were our January favorites. That's what it. What do you think? I think they were great favorites. They're pretty good and we have so many more. So Practical. I have to reach. Yeah. Um, what do you wear? know, we're wearing lipstick. As per usual. Yeah, I talked about this on Insta Stories the other day because I rediscovered it. Uh, and it's a Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer in the shade Hey You. I've worn it in a video before, probably yeah. a year ago. Um, but it's a pricey little bitch and yeah. I really love it. But I just can't believe that what's on that tube is what's on your mouth right now. Mm -hmm. Reapply because it looks so... I mean, I scrape off a lot. But it's so... Oh, there we go. It doesn't have a ton of color payoff. It can if you want, but I scrape, yeah. I scrape off the sides. Um, yeah. Sticky? It, no, just wet. Like moisturizing just, feeling. It's juicy. <laughs> um, but it has kind of a minty scent, which I like. Really? Can I just smell my lips? No. Oh, no. Mm -mm. It smells like birch bees, which I can't stand. Anyways. I really like it. <laughs> We're not making out today, obviously. As per usual, I am wearing a ColourPop lippy stick, which I will say, I wish their packaging was a little bit better. Mm. But you know what? For $5, it does not say ColourPop anywhere on it anymore because it rubs right off, right the F off. Um, but this is another like neutral pink color and it is in the shade Brink and it's one of their mattes. So it's got the nice little angled tip. <laughs> Wasn't Brink a Disney movie? <laughs> was it? It was. About what? A skateboarder. I'm I did not I'm watch that one. But um, of course I love this formula. I love the shape of these and they're super cheap, which is really great. But I will say that um, while you would think based on sort of the bottom sample color that it was the same as Lumiere, Lumiere has a much more purple mm -hmm. blue base tone and then Brink is a much sort of clearer pink tone and I really like it um it was an Eric Von Detten movie oh my god that guy bring I thought that guy was so fucking hot when I was 13 okay that's um, it long-winded as usual <laughs> chatty as fuck okay so that's it what are your favorites yeah if you liked this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already if you are thank you very much yes thank you and anything else no no comments no concerns but like leave us comments yeah we love to get your comments we do too and we always respond yeah and we've started making sure to clarify who you're talking to because i think people get confused it is confusing <laughs> sorry but thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye